Hello! In today's video, we are going to be talking about gigs. Gates are represented by rhombus in the Nodes Overview tab. They can be of two types, deterministic and random. They have two main use cases. The first case is for resource distribution. A deterministic gate transfers resources in a set manner based on the labels of the output connections. Notice that this happens even if there are more resources transferred at a time. Even if the number of resources is higher than the sum of the outputs, the gate still remembers the proportions and respects them over time. A random gate on the other hand treats the outputs as chances for the resources to choose that respective branch. Having a higher total than 100% makes the gate take each branch's proportion into account. A 300% versus 100% gate is treated the same as a 75-25 gate. Having a lower total than 100% causes those resources that do not choose any branch to be drained by the gate. Note that you can use both numbers and percentages on both deterministic and random gates, but you cannot use a combination on the same gate. A value of 1 equals to 100%. Also note that gates, like converters, are middle step nodes. They perform their respective actions during a step rather than the beginning or end of a step. The other use case of a gate is as a trigger. By using state connections and an asterisk or number label, a gate can cause other nodes to trigger their action during a step, both deterministically and randomly. but we will cover that more in our triggers video. To sum up, gates are primarily used for resource distribution and can also be used as a way to control node triggering. In our next video, we will be talking about traders and color coding.